Nordics, Pleiadians are all fallen angels, part four. So here, um, I left off with part three on that the uh, other names for the angels are thorns, thistles, and briars. So let's look at Luke 8, 14. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. Does that sound familiar? Their fruit does not mature. Think about the jackal in the house, his son. That's in the headlines today, right? Mark 4, 18 and 19. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things enter in and choke the word and it proves unfruitful. This is all of the elite, right? The elite know that the elite in the Bible are called pharaohs. That means the human avatars behind dark angel agendas. The dark angels promise them all of their desires and all of their riches, and they do. They get all that they want, whatever that, you know, depravity is. They get a ton of money, more money than they could ever spend. And it's all unfruitful. It's all in vain. It's all empty. In the end, their soul is not happy. <laughs> their soul is going to be tormented for an eternity. For what? A few years on earth to indulge in your depravity and to have a bunch of worthless money? Really? Think about that. Compare that to eternity. What's the average lifespan on earth today? I don't know, 80? Let's go with 80. So you're seeing we are surrounded by this darkness and their teachings, and we are so hypnotized. We're mesmerized by these snake charmers called spiritual teachers of the new age, telling you about loving space brother, the Nordics, the Pleiadians, Ashtar Command, and how we need them to evolve. Come on now, wake up. We need them to evolve, to save the planet. If you really want to know about loving space bros, spend some time in Proverbs 30. Really, seriously, stop the video, open up your Bible, go buy a Bible, order a Bible online, King James Version only, no other version, King James, period. King James Version. All right, open up to Proverbs 30 and just spend some time there. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out a few things in Proverbs 30. Let's start with verse 2 and 3. Surely I am more brutish than any man and have not the understanding of a man. Do I need to repeat that? I am more brutish than any man and have not the understanding of a man. This is a fallen dark angel. He's not even, he understands the psychology and how to warp and twist our uh, thinking our our lives, our souls, eternity, where our soul's going to spend an eternity. They get that, but they don't have the wisdom, the knowledge. They don't have the heart, the compassion, the empathy of a man, the potter's vessel, right? They don't have that. They're not able to receive the Holy Spirit, for there's no light in them. There's no dawn in them. It's another code word, dawn. So... We have the ability, we can be, we have a heart, right? They have hearts of stone. We have a heart that can hear and feel the Holy Spirit. Be thankful about that. Be grateful. We're not a dark, unfruitful, without light being. We have opportunity to be saved. So, verse 3 Again, Proverbs 30, verse 3, I neither learn wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy. I neither learn wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy. They have no wisdom, no understanding of holy. They have lost 
all of that once they rejected Father God in the third heavens, their original habitation. You can find that in Jude. They're cast, they're cast down and they've lost a great deal of their strength compared to the holy angels. Fallen angels have no strength. Now they're mightier than us. They have more strength than a human, but compared to the holy angels, they're nothing. They're but locust. See Revelation 9. But what is our greatest tool? It's lies. It's promises of lots of, I mean, let's just break it down. What do humans want? They want sex. They want money. They want fame and power. That's it. They know that. They know that you have been reduced to only caring about sex, money, fame, and power. Go get your big microphone. Put your cell phone in front of your screen every day and talk about things that will never happen. The angels love that we're buying it. So what does sex, money, fame, and power offer? Stroking the ego. Watch when these people with big microphones, they go on each other's show. Oh, I'm honored to be here. They spend the first 10 minutes stroking each other's ego. Ego for me is an acronym for edging God out. They're not talking about the Bible. They're not talking about the Holy Word. They're just stroking each other and giving you a lot of lies, giving you a lot of promises. It's never going to happen. I know it's hard to accept that you're in a fallen dark world, but you are. And I want your soul to get out of it. So I'm going to do the opposite of what the collective's doing. And I'm just going to tell you the truth. Because your church isn't going to do it. And no one's going to teach you spiritual warfare. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. Proverbs 30 and verses 11 through 14. There is a generation that curseth their father. That's what the angels did. Okay. Satan trafficked them. Satan told them God's going to make man in his image. And we are going to be put in charge over them. Satan wanted nothing to do with that. And he got an army of angels to follow him. Okay, so let's finish out that verse. There is a generation that are... Oh, where did I go here? Oh, cursed the father and doth not bless their mother. Angels don't have moms. Okay, angels are made, look, God is a man, and he only made men. Eve was made from the rib of Adam. God never even made a woman. He simply took Adam's rib, and a woman was formed. So, there's, it's, it's, it's a man-on-man -man world. Now, deal with it. So, let's finish out that verse. They doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. The angels think they're, you know, that they're, they think that they're righteous. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. They'll never be saved. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. That's the principality. That's the dark council over you. And they know what you like. Look, they know what shiny things you like to watch. They know how to distract you away from the word of God. That lofty thing. They know how to stroke your ego. So later in verse 27, I really encourage you, please read all of Proverbs 30. The wisdom in Proverbs 30 and the hybrids that are talked about in Proverbs 30. You need to understand that fight because it's going to come to the surface any day now. 
Read Proverbs 30 and understand what you're reading about the hybrids. So later in verse 27, the fallen angel are also called locusts. So Proverbs 30, 27, let me read that. The locusts have no king, yet go they forth, all of them by bands. That's DNA. All of them by bands. Bands here, when you look at the number, uh, bands is 2686. It means to pierce or to sever. They have a piercing agenda. Agenda. They are in control of big pharmacia. And they have their needles ready to sever your DNA out of our God code and bring in their snake venom into our water supply, into our food supply. Now, one thing to keep in mind is they have been following the line right? The generations, the, the, snake sne the snake seed line, okay? We see that way back in Genesis 3.15, her seed and thy seed, the snake has his line of reptilian slash human looking. Look, it says it right there in the Bible. So they've been following Cain's line since Cain killed Abel. And what is their agenda? It's really spelled out for us in Ezekiel 32, verse 2. It's right there. Okay, if you want to know about their agenda, go to God's prophets. Ezekiel 32, 2. Let's, let's see. We are told their agenda. It starts off, Son of man, take up a lamentation for Pharaoh that means the elites running the world, human elites behind. They've already had sex with a fallen angel, like it or not, but that's just the deal. They have, all right? They're in bed with a fallen angel, and they're running this planet. For a pharaoh, king of Egypt. What does Egypt mean, guys? I'm telling you these codes. Pharaoh is the human avatar behind a dark council of the fallen angels. Egypt means war and depravity. So when you see Pharaoh and you see Egypt, run. Okay, this is war and his depravity. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and say unto him, thou art like a young lion. Okay, young lion. They're going to counterfeit, copycat our lion of Judah. It's a young lion. It's immature. And you see immature, sons of disobedience. Young lions, you're looking, you're reading about the fallen angels. A young lion of the nations, and thou art as a whale. All right, whale, 8577. I'll read that later. Back to you. You should know it from my other videos. But when you see whale, that's the dragon. Thou art as a whale in the seas, and thou camest forth with thy rivers. Here's the, here's the, here's the uh, part I want you to, um, you know, kind of get truly in your heart. And troublest the waters with thy feet and foulest their rivers. Tr they're troubling the waters. Right here in Ezekiel 32.2, read it for yourself, the troubled waters. You don't find it interesting that... The next predictive program coming out that will make billions of dollars is Avatar, the way of water. They have to tell you before it comes. It's going to be in your water supply. It's going to be in, your, it's going to be in the rain. That's why it troubles the rivers. You're not going to be able to escape their venom. The troubled waters. Once you understand this pharmacia, uh, I guess I would say agenda and how they have it in the water supply. They, they rolled it out with COVID. It wasn't a virus. It was snake venom and very um, targeted water supplies. So I've told you what Pharaoh means. You see that run Egypt, you're in trouble. That's these are, these are key words. Now let's break down young lion um, and the whale. 
Young lion is a fallen angel. The whale again, 8577, means dragon and sea monster. But it also means jackal. Okay, we're covering... <laughs> The dragon got thrown into the ocean in Genesis 1-2, the dark waters without form and void. And he, he's covering himself because now he can become, he can come out of the water and be a four-legged creature. The dragon, it means dragon and sea monster jackals. Venomous snake. Venomous snake. Snake venom is coming your way to destroy your DNA. I'm trying to get this out there before it happens so that you can do whatever you need to do to make sure you're not drinking snake venom. So, go ahead and read the rest of Ezekiel 32. Please read that because it's about the end days. It's about the seven years of tribulation. Ezekiel 32 is just a repeat of John the Revelator in Revelation. It's the same thing. And it's right around the corner. All right, so let's go ahead and read some Psalms here. I'm going to go with Psalms. Psalms 2, starting with verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, against his anointed. Let us break their bands asunder. DNA. And cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. So read the rest of Psalms 2 for yourself because it talks about the victory of our Lord. But now I'm going to go to Psalm 82, verse 1. A psalm of Asaph, God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Do you understand that's us? We are in the hands of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. We're in a fallen world, guys. And there's no truth, zero truth, except the Bible. Having said that, there is the predictive programming your TV shows, your TV programming is giving you. There is the predictive programming in the Hollywood movies. It's all out of course. It's a fallen, dark world. And the collective has already drowned in it. The collective has lost their soul. Why? Because the church won't teach you spiritual work. The church won't teach you this. The church, look at all, the, none of the pastors are reading from the Bible. They're just giving you their fluff, their, their viewpoint. They're filling their congregations up, making lots of money, by giving you good news and happy fluffy stuff. You're not coming to my videos for happy fluffy stuff, right? I'm never gonna be happy or fluff, ever. Psalm 82, six, and I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. So he's talking to the fallen angels. And what is he, how's he finish that? But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. A chief prince is Satan. There's more than Satan, Michael, and Gabriel. That's all it says in the King James Version, so we'll just stick with that. But there's actually seven of them. 82.8, Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. So, you understand there is an army of evil angels, and they have rankings. Let's end with Colossians 1.16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all things were created by him and for him. 
So God created the fallen angels. I mean, he created everything, and there was a percentage of them that rejected. I know God, everybody likes to think that there's a third of the angels of heaven. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that. I specialize in angels. It doesn't say that. The only time it ever says there's a third of something is Revelation 12, 7 through 9, and the dragon swooped a third of the stars out of heaven. So it's easy to say it's a third from that line right there. It doesn't matter how many of them. They, are, they have principalities. They have governmental bodies over entire cities. The power of them over us is pervasive. It's massive. So, bottom line is they rejected God. They followed Satan to earth in which they were cast out in light. lightning. You can see Jesus says that he saw when Satan was cast out like lightning. Find that in Luke. That is who is the master puppet pulling the strings and promoting the ongoing lie. The fallen angels, their counsel, their principalities, their powers, their rulers in, pl in places, heavenly places, high places. Now, they are also promoting the ongoing lie that you see this bobblehead media clones with the fear agenda. Turn away from it. Watching the media or even so-called alternative media, guys with big microphones, um, on whatever you're watching it, they're all getting their ego stroked. You know? There was a few people that I watched shortly until they got so many viewers, they had to get a big microphone. I quit watching then. Okay, so let's go to... I want you... The reason I do this is so that you can be in the Lamb's Book of Life. Okay, read that, read that in Revelation 21. I want your name to be in the Lamb's Book of Life. But if you're going to follow the course of this world, let's look at Ephesians 2.2. In which you once walked following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. That's the fallen angels, sons of disobedience. You see how many names they have? The spirit that is now at work in the sons of obedience, the prince of the power of the air. Their dark agenda is going through the cell towers and is coming through your phone. And it's coming through your computer screen. It's coming through your TV. They're programming, conditioning, and grooming you towards losing your soul in the right camp. Just so you know, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. And all God's people said... Amen.